Next, we invite Dr. Sampat Kumar for his talk on mitral valvoplasty. So, septal puncture is the most crucial, and if you have perforation in the right atrium or aortic perforation, it never occurred because, especially in Indian setup, we do, uh, you know, a technique in a lateral puncture. So, puncturing the aorta is very unusual or very rare. Actually, once I was in TCT in the U.S., and then one fellow from Utah University, he said that, and in a discussion, he said that two patients, they didn't want to do balloon, and both had aortic perforation, uh, injury to the aorta. Then I said it never happens in India, usually with a minimum expert, expertise. So, that is not common. LA perforation can be there, and... <clears throat> So, appendix perforation and uh, so these perforations result in tamponade and tamponade is a very serious event. Even in the best of hands, we have nearly 0.5 to 1 percent of the times we have tamponade. Now, most of our people were are experts in uh, uh, managing the tamponade by aspiration, putting a pig tail immediately. But the only one thing we did was, see the other person will be doing the procedure to aspirate Meanwhile, if you are already in the left atrium, uh, just enter and dilate with mitral wall. The idea is, once you dilate, the hemodynamic stability will be there because you can give, if you want, give fluids or anything, all those things. If it's a tight mitral stenosis, you're still there with the tamponade, it's a very big problem. So that's why, as you're preparing to aspirate the tamponade, better to enter and dilate the wall so that patient will be more safe. And the mono mitral regurgitation is not in our hand. If you have assessed properly, you can prevent it. Rarely, sometimes you have a severe mitral regurgitation due to fly leaf flats, then only our way is surgery. So this undeflated balloon, it occurred only once uh, that once at that time, uh, you just go on slowly sucking that aspirating and slowly deflates, usually it occurs, otherwise you have to perforate with a wire. And systemic hemorrhage might not be in that. So this is another important is the puncture. As I said a puncture, if you have a low puncture, especially anterior, very difficult to enter across the mitral wall. So puncture is crucial. If the puncture is in a proper position, you will enter within a few seconds or a minute. Sometimes when it is a low puncture, it is a difficult to enter, then you can do a reverse loop technique or directly pass the wire and over the thread the balloon, all those manners can try. Sometimes it is very difficult, then better is uh, do a re-puncture and a good puncture and enter the mitral wall. That will solve the problem. Sometimes even after one hour negotiations, some low punctures, very difficult to enter. At that time, sometimes the wire takes a reverse loop, not like a clockwise, it will anti-clockwise. Reverse loop will also occur, which indicates that it is a very low puncture. So here, this is the thing where you are directly threading over the... So like that, you can directly thread the balloon over the wire after manipulating the wire to enter the left ventricle and dilate the balloon. So I found that uh, one few things we learned is, uh, so even if you have done many pa patients, still you should not be, you should be very careful and puncture is the most crucial. If you have a good puncture, then entry everything is easy. And if you are finding it problem, if you have, see very rarely if we had two patients, where it was very difficult, we are not able to puncture at all, even after three, four attempts. So better stop the procedure. You can plan after a few days, then you may be able to do without any problem like that. So uh, most important is patient safety, and uh, some of the things you can tackle easily, and don't, ha don't have ego problem, all those things. As the previous speakers have told, patient safety is the primary motto. So because uh, when the patient is deteriorating, you have to solve it. And better not to have a deteriorating patient with your expertise. So don't go like that. And then better to wait. If you are not successful, postpone the procedure. 
plan next time studying again reviewing the cot everything and then plan a proper puncture and proper enter the matlab thank you